stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. And I yeah. think we all deserve to develop new passion, yung mga bago natin, mga talent and skills. Whatever makes us happy, dapat gawin natin. Kasi malungkot na sa labas. So kung may nagpapasaya sa atin, gusto natin kumanta at i-share sa mga tao, i-video ating sarili, go ahead. If you want wow. to buy shirts, go ahead. If you want to cook, go ahead. Shout out sa mga TikTokers, parang ganun ba? <laughs> <laughs> but, but again, Win Love and I were... Actually, hindi. Hindi, kasi pangit ako nung bata ako. Grabe na. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Teka lang, sorry. Pero, Grabe kung pangit na. Pag-makeup lang ako. Lang ako <laughs> <laughs> ano na lang kami, kuto. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, hindi, like, alam mo yun, yung um, maitim ako, morena, tapos sobrang payat ko, malaki yung ngipin ko. Alam mo yun, tapos I was taller than all the boys I knew. Parang ganun, ako yung pinakabatangkad nung high school. So, sobrang awkward, sobrang... Yeah, parang hindi ko ma-imagine na, hindi ko ma-imagine na maganda ako. Uh, but it was thanks to Ate Cheska, actually, your mm. resident, tama ba? Your green yeah. <laughs> Kasi parang naisip ko matangkad naman ako, baka, baka pwede ako mag-model. Kasi yung, alam, parang narinig ko yung mga model, di naman, yung iba hindi naman kailangan kagandahan. Basta lang parang, payat, di ba? High fashion ang tawag doon. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. oh, kasi nadadaan naman sa avant-garde na makeup. So yun, I, I tried and Ate Cheska helped me and it was through that modeling agency that I met my mm-hmm. my trainer, uh, my mentor, the head of Aces and Queens, si Mama J. So, so, the aspects of pageantry that we know, syempre may, may pasarela, merong um, Q&A, may makeup training, pero merong other aspect no, na kailangan mo i-train, na kailangan mong i-develop na, win a, na yun yung parang winning factor mo. Na hindi, hindi siya, I think, obvious to a lot of people kasi hindi nila nakikita. Walang segment for that. Pero, ang turo sa akin, the thing that makes you win is really your your confidence, your aura, and your power. Kasi kung mapapansin mo, kung kahit hindi magaling yung girl magpasarela, magcatwalk, basta malakas yung dating niya, ang ganda niya tignan, powerful, kahit medyo, medyo, you know, hindi perfect yung execution, you still say na, ang galing niya, wow. Kasi she has that confidence, that X factor, that stage presence. And for me, doon ako pinaka nag-struggle. Kasi, my entire life, parang I, I was used to being like a wallflower. Ayokong center of attention. Ayoko yung, ako yung pinapansin. Gusto ko, parang I'm in the sidelines lang. And I don't even dress up. Hindi ako nag-aayos. Hindi ako nag-makeup. Sobrang simple lang ng damit ko. But then, training for Binibini, parang sabi sa akin, pagpasok mo ng kwarto, dapat lahat ng tao titingin sa'yo. Ikaw pinakamaganda. That your your presence should command attention. So parang, oh, paano yun? Kasi, like, so, parang so, total op- opposite ng no, kinalakihan no. mo. Correct. Sobra, oh. sobra. <laughs> And totoo, totoo. That's what makes a queen, di ba? Yung, yung parang gusto mo siyang pakinggan. Gusto mo siyang, gusto mong, wala. Like, parang she's so charming. She's so captivating. Sabi nga nila. And yun yung, I think, the unseen skill or unseen part of being of training for a Fresh, beauty for you, ideally you need both you need to you need to have um the personality and then the execution parang ganon pero training can only get you so far eh. you can only you can only practice your passerella for that amount of time and all the girls will be practicing The, the, the same amount of time as you. Pero ang labanan dyan talaga yung dating mo. Eh. And the way you perform on stage that night. Kaya everything, lahat ng preparation mo, lahat ng paandar mo, lahat ng pre-pageant activities, by pageant night, wala yan eh. Kasi yun lang naman yung i-judge sa'yo that night, your performance there. And kahit ang galing-galing mo sa studio nung nagpa-practice kayo ng trainer mo, 
Yeah. Pag hindi mo nalabas yun on stage, wala rin. Diba? Hindi siya so, job hunting. Para siyang ibigay mo sa akin ang corona. Parang ganun. <laughs> more, oh, yeah. more, of, more of, I was so new. I was mm-hmm. so hilaw. I didn't have experience. I didn't have confidence in my own decisions. I was just testing the waters. And I'm fortunate to have reached as far as I did. But valuable talaga yung may experience kay. So, I know I did, I made a lot of mistakes. Not mistakes, but like I know I made choices that were not the best. No, uh, knowing what okay. I know now, I wouldn't, I would have made different choices. But then at the same time, I don't regret anything that I presented because we worked so hard on that. Uh, Papa niyan digang ko kasi pinili ko yon, and that was a choice that we made. Well, unfortunately, that's the reality of life. And uh, I think what I'm learning from Ash is that ultimately, it's your confidence you're building. Iko yung mahalaga pa rin, no? Parang you have to, may dapat may buy in kasi sarili mo that you want. Parang I grew up. I grew up around the LGBT Uh-oh. community and it was just the most natural thing. Meron akong kabarkada na members of the LGBT community. Cool. And and parang I don't know, I never kaya since pagkabata ko um I was I was exposed to that. Kaya I never had a mindset na them and us. I never grew up with a mindset na iba sila, iba ako. Kasi Hindi naman sila iba. Classmates ko sila, kaibigan ko sila. Yeah. And that carried that carried over to when I was in UP. In UP, mas liberal. Maraming maraming gay guys sa UP. Marami akong uh meron akong dalawang best friends na gay guys from my UP, from my UP undergrad. Um and I'm really happy uh-huh. na UP offered an environment na very open. Meron kaming UP Babaylan. Uh, very strong your presence. Ooh, the Babay Land. <laughs> yeah, pag ano pag um anong tawag don Lantern Parade, lagi namin inaabangan mm-hmm. yung ano ng Babay Land. So, okay. so I guess I was always just comfortable always, with. It. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for that word. Comfort, comfortable, yeah. and then may work na po ako sa law firm. Aww. And there are so many girls who are so deserving. There are so many phenomenal women na just waiting in the wings na lalabas very, very soon who are capable, very, very capable of bringing crowns for the country. And um, I had the best experience representing the Philippines. Sobrang, that's my best experience I don't think anything in my life will top that ever. And I'm excited for another girl, more girls to experience. Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. You're, you know, sabi mo, you're, now you're pursuing your legal career, I guess. No? Kung papasok ka na sa law firm. Any message to the LGBT supporters out there? Thank you so much for all your support from the beginning, kahit nung uh, undergrad pa lang ako na nalalagay ako sa hot pick sa misosology na six years bago ako finally dumating. Thank you so much wow. to all to everyone supporting me na never nawala ng hope and especially when I joined Bini Bini na really fought for me and even no miss international na mahikipag away sa kung sino sino bayan para sa akin maraming maraming salamat thank you so much up to now i see your comments halos araw araw may nagtatag sa akin ng miss you please thank you na never ako nawala <laughs> sa isip nyo thank yeah. you that you're putting your trust in me na feeling nyo na kaya ko pang uh, magrepresent ng country again Dahil sa inyo na I think nalabas ko to a certain extent yung that inner confident um, may woman na may X factor na commanding yung presence. Kasi when I see your comments na you believe in me, kahit hindi ako naniniwala sa sarili ko, parang um, 
parang nabubuhayan ako na parang wait, parang magaling ata ako ha? kasi ang daming nagko-comment. So, dahil sa inyo yon, maraming maraming salamat. Um thank you for supporting me until now and if in the future I have other uh if I pursue other things and endeavors, yeah. Endeavors. Um, I hope you support me also. So, I mean, we're having so oh, much. <laughs> but if you answer, uh, I only wish that your answer is truthful and from the heart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, naman. Um, I advocated for the Soji for the passing of the Soji Equality Bill. Uh, there was an issue last year, I think, because na na dismiss yung case, na dismiss yung case with the Supreme Court. If, tama, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, yeah. Um, yeah. and then that caused a huge, parang um, nagalit yung mga tao kasi the dismiss uh. ng ng Supreme Court yung case for the Soji Equality Bill, um, and I had to, parang I I took it upon myself to explain to my followers ganon kung bakit nangyari yon kasi in reality hindi naman dismiss ng court because hindi siya in favor of the law. Basically, the dismiss lang niya on the technicalities kasi mali yung pagfa-file ng petitioners sa court, parang ganun. So, um, I'm happy that I have that legal background to mm-hmm. educate people kasi minsan especially when it's about the law, yung bill tapos Supreme Court, medyo um esoteric Vision. parang hindi yeah, oo, oo. hindi magigets ng mga normal people so yeah. i i am i'm happy na parang kaya ko maging link to that to make it more accessible to people na hindi nila naiintindihan yon so um i want to continue that and then i'm also uh, my friend Mela Habijan Miss Trans Global if you yes mm-hmm. if you know yeah. her so yeah. she's yeah. launching she's launching a campaign uh for this Monday, the International Day Against Tamaba Homophobia. Idaho, Idaho bit, Idaho to be yeah. yeah. Homophobia, transphobia by and by phobia. Phobia. Yes. So uh, I would I'm helping with that, but actually well, in reality, you. um I I prefer not to man like I will always be an ally, pero I want the advocating to come from members of the LGBT community. Kasi feeling ko I'm I'm still learning and mm-hmm. hindi ako member of the community to speak no, your you story. Are. You're part I mean, of parang, us. Thank you so much. Pero you're parang part, you're part parang, of us. <laughs> parang <laughs> da- you. dapat. Thank you so much. Pero parang dapat nanggagaling yung story, yung experiences from some from someone from a member of the LGBT community. Parang uh, yung kaming mga allies will do as much as we can support support kami lagi pero we can never speak your truth kasi hindi namin alam so, yun. Naman yun but yeah uh, even just your parang uh, a, a post will always mean something you always inspire uh, somebody enlighten an LGBT kid so i think so, women and the LGBT community we share similar barriers so in my speech, I talked about um, violence, harassment, and discrimination. Pero may ang difference nun, mas mahirap yung yung nararanasan na na oppression ng LGBT community because may pinakamalaking barrier sila na hindi namin as women na experience and that is acceptance. Sobrang hirap nun because your very existence, your very identity is being questioned. That's the most basic part of you. Yung pagiging ikaw. Kina question, hindi tina tanggap. Like, like the news kanina yung ay lareta. Parang hindi mo ina accept yung na, na trans women don't prefer women. So hindi mga yarion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So that very fact is one of the is your truth as a trans woman and hindi na recognize ng ibang tao hindi ka ina accept. So that is I think the biggest barrier na it's so ridiculous na hanggang ngayon problema yon na ganun ka simple acceptance lang ng kapwa nating you know brothers and sisters hindi hindi matanggap ng ibang tao. So that's the biggest barrier kaya we have to 
work towards that, hindi lang to problema ng LGBT community. Problema to ng lahat ng tao na we all need to work together for that acceptance. And which is why it's so important to celebrate this Monday, Ida International Ida Day Hot. again. Yeah. Homo- homophobia, transphobia, and biophobia. So we're 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 moving forward every step of the way, and that's why I think what Win told you a while ago about being ally, you know, be showing yourself, expressing that you are an ally of the community, already means a lot to us. It's amplifying basically the voices of of the LGBT. You and- try to connect with them first in that way now you show them you respect them and then you show them you love them because that's the root of communication before mm-hmm. you you parang inject a little bit na parang you give them information that's the first step don't push your beliefs because like like you know that they're close minded they first start with that relationship that open communication and then you can start with information little by little and then um when you see that they're responding to it and they're receiving it in a good way um you can start with na yung yung mga alam natin ngayon so sometimes it's a long process sometimes mahirap talaga na i-change yung heart ng mga tao na close minded pero it'll be worth it lalo na pamilya mo yon um hindi siya magiging madale pero little by little by being consistent I've heard stories from my friends and that's the way they did it and like pay off naman siya and you pray also na God will open it um, again thank you so much to all my supporters from the LGBT community I wouldn't be here without you uh, just know that I'm always here uh, you're seen you're you're loved um, hindi the world isn't so bad ang onti lang ng mga tao na with so much hate in their heart na lahat yung mga tao around you uh, mahal nila kayo maraming sumusuporta maraming maraming nag-accept sa inyo and you are so valuable in this world speaking from experience grabe yung lahat ng tumulong sa akin I, like I said I wouldn't be here without you um, hindi kayo Less of a person, mo kayo mahikinig sa mga ganon kasi uh, you, the LGBT community actually parang carries the entire entertainment and even pageantry. So grabe, sobrang sobrang thankful ako sa inyong lahat. Uh, please support our candidate Rabia Axenia Mateo. Uh, Miss Universe is on Monday, um, and also I would like to add, please don't forget to vote. The next elections, oh, yes. that's one of my advocacies. If you haven't voted yet for the youth, September 30, last day of registration, the Comelec, Comelec will be open because GCQ na tayo. Mabilis lang, 30 minutes lang. From what I heard, you just have to print the application form beforehand and then bring your face shield, face mask, ball pen, and register to vote. We really need your help. And yun, please pray for the Philippines. Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.